bands are reading your brain waves, allowing you to control the holographic ball. It's like Pong. Yeah, mind Pong. The stronger mind wins. <laughs> oh. Aw, damn it. Addison, you have to concentrate. Not his strong suit. Maybe I need some concentration medicine. Mmm, I don't think that's a good idea. I agree. You're wearing an experimental digital neural link. And it's 9 a.m. That makes it 420 somewhere. No, it doesn't. Ah. <sighs> Okay, guys, I'm ready to get back to work. But first, I'm kind of thirsty. Holy shit. What? Addison, you just exhibited telekinesis. Oh, that? <laughs> That's nothing. It's nothing? Yeah. See, it's the weirdest thing, guys, but suddenly I can hear a man's heartbeat in Tanzania. I can feel the wings of a hummingbird in Quebec. You see? I am a Become a god. This is a much more dangerous job than the pay would suggest. We should kill him. Uh, Just getting the headband off should be sufficient. Oh, sorry, guys. Coming to God is crazy. <laughs> Anyways, now I can use my powers to finally bring about world peace and end hunger. Get him! Get him! <laughs> oh. oh, God. And, oh, my God. Fucking God, I'm over there? How, how is my body over there? It is extremely peculiar. What? I've got lip rings, you guys, and I think I'm high on something. You're feeling the effects of the mushrooms I took earlier. Ha! <laughs> That's totally it! Holy shit! I'm in Addison's body? Yes. Gross! And you're in Crad's body, and you, Addison, are in October's. It's freaky? Freaky Friday! Oh, yeah, yeah you got it. That's the place never do anyways. Addison, I have to take care of Susie tonight. I have plans as well. The old ones do not like to be kept waiting. I have to be home right after work. I'm grounded. But you're an adult. Yeah, but the websites I visit shouldn't be. Unbelievable. How do I explain this to Susie? You don't. Don't explain this to anyone. I have a degree in experimental psychology and I know what crazy sounds like. It sounds like you trying to explain this. What do you suggest? Pose as each other, just for tonight. In the morning, I'll set you back, probably. Probably? Most likely. Okay, so, uh, okay, so we pretend to be each other until we can just sort this out. I'm not grounded anymore. <laughs> Laugh it up, fuzzball. I will. I'm really high on these mushrooms. I can take care of Susie Crad. No harm will befall her. Just go to my place and stay in my room. Easy as pie. As eating pie, making pie is really hard. Your task may be more difficult. Difficult as pie? Nothing I could say could prepare you, so I will simply say nothing except prepare to draw blood. I can do that. The secret is squiggles. Oh my god. Yes, this is good. Treat it as an adventure. Break out of your shell. God damn it. Remember me, you're grounded. I'm not you. You look like me. Where do you live again? Don't worry, Dad's waiting outside to pick you, me up. Why, because you're grounded? No, because he loves me. Are you ready to get out of here? Big crunch. Looks like I'm going with Garrett, and we do things together. Socially, I guess. Yes, so. Okay, October, are you sure you're up to this? Susie and I get along, crowd, we'll be fine. You gonna act like that? Like what? Okay, look, just remember, Susie is sensitive to gluten. Not allergic, just sensitive. It's on this list you gave me. You better get going. Okay, be careful. I will. Hey, Dad. Susie? Guess who's the new reporter at the school paper? Is it you? Yeah. That's great. You don't sound very excited. I am excited. I'm extremely excited for you. God, you don't have to be such a jerk about it! Susie! Wait! Good one. Nailed it. Just kidding. You did not nail it. It was bad. <laughs> Badly done! Wow. This is just like Eyes Wide Shut. Do I get a bird mask? Will there be table sex? Are you in some kind of drug? I'm just October. On mushrooms and going with the flow. You don't seem like yourself at the moment. Well, I certainly am me, and not someone else in another person's body. 
Yeah, boy. Hey, sport. Feeling blue because you're grounded. Nope, just uh, sitting here thinking about what I did. Being punished doesn't mean we can't have a nice evening at home. Okay. That's my boy. What? No. I can't drive. Was it drink at work day? Yes. <sighs> Give me the keys. This is terrible timing. You have to perform the ceremony. This is just like that dream where I haven't rehearsed for the school play, and then my penis and I sing a duet. Time for your massage. Uh, well, I guess I could use a massage. Baby oil. It's a lot of baby oil. Because you're my baby baby. It's called a signal, you bag of jacks! It's simple. You kill the cat, and then you read the entrails. Kill the cat? <gasps> now relax! <laughs> No. Sorry, Dad. No apology necessary. He's a bag of dicks. Right? Get back! <laughs> okay. Do you want a happy ending? What? No, 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 I, I, I don't. Okay, let me do the talking. You get so nervous, but you're always so glad afterwards. What? It'll help you sleep. Uh, no, uh, I, uh, no um, I would prefer. No squirming. What the fuck? Oh! 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 This kitty is a good kitty! Sometimes you have a guest that just won't leave. I'm just bunging things up. But this story can have a happy ending with happy ending enemas. Uh-oh! Happy ending! Happy ending enemas. Make your ending happy. You can do it. It's not that weird. Just have a little enema. Don't make it weird. It's fine. It's fine. You're fine. <laughs> what a night. Is that a cat? Yeah. What are you, the internet? No. I had to save him from some Cthulhu worshippers so they didn't use him to open a gateway to the Plateau of Lang. The weird part is, October and Garrett are friends. Ugh. What the fuck is going on in your house, Addison? I don't know. Hamster circus? Robot soap opera? Did my Sasquatch butler escape? Uh, your mom gave me an oil rub, like a baby oil rub. Yeah, I can see how that would be weird if it wasn't your mom. But at least you get a happy ending after. I was not that happy, well, uh, at first. Morning, all. October, nice shirt. You too. So, how did it go with Susie? Hmm, she seemed mad at you. Why? Uh, I wasn't excited enough. About what? Was it the school paper? Did you get the reporter job? Yes. Nice, yes! I thought they were gonna give it to that dipshit Alan. He's a piece of shit, kid. I shouldn't say it, but honestly. Perhaps this was the kind of excitement she was hoping for. Well, did you at least take her out for ice cream? I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah, but I'm not. Oh, that's right. I could have used this chance to try peanut butter, or get stung by a bee, or get in a fight. Or fight a bee! Guys, I've been up all night working on this. I think I'm ready to recreate the accident. Oh, well, next time. Yeah, next time your consciousness is transferred to another body, because that happens all the time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really tired. Let's just do this. I'm good to go over here. And now to use my powers for the good of humanity. <laughs> now I'm in Crad's body. And I'm in Addison's. Mm. You're very fat. Thank you. You not so much, Crad. Yeah, thanks. Fuck you. Great. Damn it. It was real close. Perhaps I can offer some assistance. Thank you, finally. And I can do all the stuff I can't do in my usual body. Whoa, 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 wait, like what? Well, first I need a peanut and a bee. Then the world is my oyster, my bee-fighting oyster. Do not get stung by a bee. It'll get all itchy. Shall we get to work? Oh. I wish you could see what it's like to be me. I'm in your body. And I'm in yours. I guess we'll see how hard the other one has it. Deal. 
So did you ruin my life at school? Nope. Everyone liked my retro slang, and everyone was impressed with my knowledge of 80s music. Bitcha. And later I blew the quarterback in the locker room. Tell the wiki? It only took a minute. With my superior sexual experience, I blew his tiny mind. <laughs> you guys are dating now. Nice! <laughs> So how did things go at work? Your boss thinks that your ideas are fresh and exciting, so he gave you that promotion. Got the promotion? I've been trying for years for that promotion. I got you a corner office, and you're going to Mexico on a convention. Well done. So what did we learn? Nothing. Nothing. The peanut butter was stickier than I thought it would be, and the bee was stingier than I thought it would be. Yeah, OK, I think that's enough trying stuff out in my body for right now. Nah, man, I got a whole list. Yeah. Jeez. Some of this stuff isn't even possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phew, I need a coffee. In your fatter body, I get tired way faster. <laughs> okay, let's see how everybody's doing in the prototype room. Okay. Hey, Dad. What? <gasps> Hi, Susie. I'm your dad. I'm your crad dad. What's wrong with you, Dad? I'm very... That's all I got. <laughs> uh, don't mind him. He's, uh, he's not feeling good. October... Can we talk for a second? Yeah. Yeah, sure, honey. What's up? It's my dad. I just, I wish you would listen. You, you, you mean just lately, right? I, I know, he's been acting really weird since like yesterday after work. He has been worse lately, but it's been like this for the past month. Past month? Really? I, I, I thought things were going great. You're talking really fast for you. I, I had a lot of coffee. I mean, coffee. Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, you, were, you were saying about, about your dad? I just, I feel like he's so absent. I'm there all the time. He, he is there all the time, right? He's there physically, but not mentally, you know? We just watch TV. TV? I thought you liked TV. When I was a kid, I loved TV. I just wish you would focus a little or we might grow apart. I don't want that. He doesn't want that either. Thanks, October. It's nice to have a grown up I can talk to. I better find my dad. Hey, what's up, turd burglar? And I don't mean that as a gay slur. I'm actually accusing you of stealing my feces. You know what, Jesse? I'm getting real tired of these insults. As fat as you are, I bet you get tired really easy. You treat crowd really badly. Yeah, well, referring to yourself in the third person treats English badly. Enough! I challenge you to a fight at the bike racks in 10 minutes. You want to fight me? I'm a ninja. I will destroy you. Well, maybe, but this isn't my body. <laughs> what the fuck? Chris gonna fight Jesse! Chris gonna fight Jesse! Chris gonna fight Jesse! <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, Mary, Joseph here says that's not my baby. We've done the DNA tests, and we now know for sure that Joseph is, in fact, not the father. Oh, yeah! must hurt to know that Joseph is just so relieved. God, I'm so confused. I haven't been with anyone else. Well, we've done some investigation, and we think we know who the real father is. You do? Mm-hmm. So let's bring him out and hear what he has to say. Thou dost not know me. This be bullshit. I demanded the DNA test. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a good name. We'll be right back. October? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, that's who I am. I'm feeling a bit tense. Would you mind helping me out a little like you used to when we were married? Uh, sure. Uh, how did I do that again? Oh, it'll come back to you. It's like riding a bike. A bike that rides you back. Okay. Let's go to my office. Oh, you've been busy. I think I have most of the kinks worked out. This isn't mind pong at all anymore. No. Now it's a machine to transfer people's minds into different bodies. I could have invented that. You did invent it. I merely perfected it. Can I hit that? Of course. You guys keep it loose down here, huh? Keep it funky. Shall we test the device? Roll them bones. Initiating transfer. <laughs> I am in a female body. I require 20 minutes to masturbate. Oh. 
I'm sorry. That was unseemly. No biggie. I would have done the same thing. Oh, damn it. What? I should have licked myself. Ah. Mm. Well, well, looky here. I can't even believe you showed up. Like I say, this isn't my body. Jesus, you've gone eight kinds of crazy. But I'm still gonna kick your ass. Yes? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass so hard, it'll fly through a wormhole where it'll meet the Borg and get assimilated. Oh, nice bird crack. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna kick your ass so hard, it'll become a grammatical device known as an apostrophe. Grammar. Well, I'm gonna kick your ass so hard, it'll hit a football field and spread into a playable surface known as AstroTurf. Nice one. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. But I'm still gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, have to be quick. I'm flying to China in an hour. I want to do this. Yes, so do I. And soon. I just... I can't. Why not? Oh, is it your back? Look, I know this is gonna sound nuts, but I'm crad. There was an accident, and I'm crad here in October's body, and, and I couldn't sleep with you without telling you first. Hmm. Oh, that really is you in there, isn't it, crad? Yeah. So I guess I'll just get going. You can stay. Really? Yeah, it'll be just like that time I slept with John Malkovich. What? The offer stands, do your worst. Um... That means do your best. Do your, do your best sex. Uh, Try hard. Come on, crap! Fight back! This is getting boring. This hurts a lot more than I thought it would. All right. With these final modifications, the machine is now complete. We can now transfer minds remotely. Do you realize what we have here? The government would pay billions for something like this. It's too powerful a piece of technology to exist in this time period. That is so cool of you, you know? like. Money's just not a thing for you. <laughs> mm. Making up a song. When I get stoned, I like to make up a song. Making up a song. Initiating transfer. What the? Jesse? And now for the coops to grace. What happened? Oh, did you? I am myself again. Are we? I do believe we are. Hi. 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 Oh, I am so glad to be out of there. That fight was not going well for me. Everything's working out great. <laughs> What's the game that helps you control the minds of your unsuspecting friends and family? It's mind manipulation. False accusation. Dad, is Mom allowed to kiss Uncle Billy? What? Nothing. Mind manipulation. Eating disorder. Your pants seem tight. You okay? <laughs> mind manipulation. Play it, idiot. You're an idiot. Just kidding. Idiot. You'll never amount to anything. All right, guys, I'm out. We had quite an adventure today, huh? I had a good time. I did not. Peanut butter is sticky. You're gonna need a happy ending. Guys, I just want to say, if you're having fun or whatever, you know, holler at your girl. Okay, but will you holler back? Are you a holler back girl? Sometimes, but uh, no naked, no naked role right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's fine. Understand. I mean, you're attractive, attractive but I'm not attracted, attracted to you. Way. Perfect. Thanks for the smoke. <laughs> Hey guys, ready to go, Dad? Sure am. See you guys later. Bye. October, thanks for adopting the cat. He loves you. Yes. <clears throat> Apparently so. What are you gonna call him? Azathoth. After Azathoth, the blind idiot god who pipes in chaos. Ooh, cute. Yes. He's my pookie schnookums. <laughs> hey, Susie, uh... Can we talk a second? You need me to drive? No, I just, I feel like maybe lately I haven't been listening to you enough and that maybe we watch a little too much TV. You love TV. I have always loved TV. 
but I love you more. I know. Eh, way more. Yeah? More than even like the really good shows. Oh yeah? Like the really good ones? <laughs> yeah. You love me more than Breaking Bad? Ooh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. The Wire. You love me more than The Wire? That is a good show. Omar alone. Oh, yeah, but still love you more. Classic Three's Company. With Chrissy Snow? Obviously, I said classic. Mm, still love you more. I love you too, Dad. Let's go to the movies. This sounds fun. Yeah, it's like TV, but it's longer. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, you can eat popcorn and watch your feet. Seatbelt. in there? No, Mom. Oh. Mm. Hey, Dave. David. Guess who got the new Beards of Canada album? Uh, uh, on vinyl? Vinyl? Wax cylinder. Hey, wait a minute. David, have you mascaraed your mustache? That's usually a Dave thing. And what's this? Dave's drinking Schlumman Creek's Mocha Age Dark Porter, and David's drinking Schlumman Creek's Coffee Age Dark Porter, and have you swapped bow ties? And, oh, we can't go on this cruise any longer. We switched bodies three days ago, ever since we spilled Pim's cup on that haunted typewriter. We've been trying to pose as each other, but we're polar opposites. I play the lute, and Dave plays the mandolin. I like alt-post-indie fusion rock, and he likes alt-indie fusion post-rock. Guys, the solution is simple. Just embrace each other's wildly different interests. Of course, so simple. Sparky, I'll have a double bacon whipped cappuccino half foam double bacon, and I'll have a double bacon whipped cappuccino half bacon triple foam. <laughs> Classic Dave and David. 